Okay, here we are at the Lakeside Townhouses on Master Circle. Very nice wooded community. Very quiet and nicely landscaped. Each townhouse has its own gated patio area, which is very large. You could get several tables out here. I would even put a hot tub out in the corner, and, but that's just me. Um, they have two sliders. The unit does need work, but uh, handyman special is what you're looking for. This will clean up nicely. It's got a lot of space. That's the main thing. <clears throat> this is the living room area. Real big living room. Uh, I might. Uh, you know, put a new floor in, maybe a wood floor would look really, really nice. Um, it's a big living room. Those are your stairs that go up to the bedroom. And then it's kind of an L shape. This is your dining area. Do you have a fixture there? And the kitchen is really decent. Um, really don't have to do much with the kitchen. This looks like a uh, it's, it looks like marble countertop. Um, the appliances are not bad. They're white. They're fairly new. Cabinets are decent. Um, oven. Eh, maybe I would get a new oven. Maybe an all white to match the rest of the appliances. But that's probably the only thing I would do with the kitchen. Even has one of these. Real deep cabinet. Um, and then your little sitting area or breakfast nook. This is a half bath. First floor has a half bath. There's no electricity on right now, so I can't turn the lights on. But this is your little half bath. And what they did with most of these units is they put the laundry machines behind here. So your laundry machines are on the first floor. And they put this cool little door. I mean, I guess you could make it a curtain or something a little nicer, but um, you do have a full-size washer and dryer. And then we go upstairs. Um, yeah, see the wall needs paint and a little fixing. Um, the whole thing really needs to be painted. And the carpet's not in bad shape, although if you're going to do new floors, you might as well do it through the whole thing. And this is your master. Two good, good sized bedrooms. Um, also has a little balcony overlooking the patio area. Huge walk-in closet. Lots of space back here. Watch your head. <laughs> uh, this is your master. And then master bath. I would definitely remodel the master bath. You know, it's not bad, but um, could use some sprucing up. There's your shower stall. Toilet. And looks like a little linen closet here. That is your master. Then we go over here. You have another bathroom off the second bedroom. Full bathroom. So it's two and a half bath. This one has a tub. And another lane closet. Real deep closet. A lot of closet space. And then this is your second bedroom. Um, Usually, I've seen these type of units with the wall this way. Um, or, or with a door, rather. So there's a closet that you can build to close it off. Uh, looks like the people took the closet doors off and made this a little bit more open and just put uh, shelving. But um, if you're handy, you can fix that and make it the way you want. 
Um, another little balcony overlooking the patio. Again, the patio is big. You could clean it up, maybe put some plants and uh, even tile or something to make it look a little bit more appealing. But overall, it's a nice unit. And for 79000 I think it's a good buy. There's another unit listed in the same community for 97000 uh, So $20,000 difference. I'm uh, curious to see what the interior looks like, but um, this is definitely more within the budget you uh, are looking for. That's about it. I uh, hope you like it.